All right, folks. Hello and welcome to another Modern Showcase Challenge. Yeah, let's skip this. Playing against Pinips, well known for being a black white Texas player. <laughs> let's see if they are. They were jamming some taxes, like it's 2015 or something. Every time, man, every time I have one of these, one of these events, I just sleep like shit because I wake up multiple times thinking that I overslept. And then I'm tired for the event every single time. They are playing taxes. Fitching for a breeding pool here, I think. I'm gonna take a lot of damage from it, but like keeping my basics in the deck seems relevant. Let's see if they have this color of the other playing one away. I think I'm getting coding. Hey, Malcolm, man. Hey, the staffs. Did I get you with the meme? Was the meme successful? Love to find a bounce or an untap land. Ugh. That sucks. And here I have to expose the Valakut. This is my only land. Brutal. The good thing is that they kind of have to go squatter me here. You keep seeing me everywhere, like even in my stream. Oh, fuck. Yikes. So they're just playing mono white. Can't really get cheeky here and attack because my opponent has an onboard field, so I have to pay for Arbiter. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. Come on. Even Castle off the top doesn't do it. That sucked. That sucked. 
That's okay though. We're gonna do that. <laughs> Looking back, should I have gone in the EE instead? Yeah, of course. <laughs> In heights in hindsight it's a lot easier to make decisions. Even ballista would have been fine. But yeah, obviously explosive would have been a lot better than this stupid little really cool corner that I have in my hand. But my opponent needs to have exactly apparition into a way to punish me. Like obviously in, in hindsight, knowing that my opponent had everything. Because even Flicker Wisp wouldn't have been as bad, right? Because at least I get a 4-4 when they exiled my Dryad. But the fact that they had exactly second apparition makes things a lot worse. And allows them to clock me while they're doing that. There's also the fact that I got a base, uh, that I didn't get a basic, so I took a bunch of damage from from my uh, Breeding Pool. Which I thought, that, that part I thought was fine. Keeping keeping your uh, keeping your lands and your f uh, basics in the deck is important. But... Next game, moving in. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford to force. Opponent also moves to six. Okay, I'm I'm actually not transmuting this game, so I'm just not gonna get that. Trying one keeper. Even if they GQ me, that's not that big of a deal because it puts them back a land, but I, I can still explore. So I think that they have Arbiter here. Oh, never mind. looking pretty good here <laughs> no arbiters in sight not playing around this member okay what can happen here my opponent goes quarters yeah okay so I have to play the forest can't play field And if they like tap out for an arbiter or something, we just win. Which is cool. Ooh, 
We're not gonna get zombies this turn, but I don't think that's that big of a deal. Never mind, we are gonna get zombies. Three friars. With the tier one sub for the eighth month in a row. Thank you so much, three friars. Prime time wants to hang out. Guess I'm getting Sanctuary. And I think I want to protect the the field of the dead. This means I can't haste this tur next turn, but like it's one of the issues of having only access to a single field of the dead in this list, right? Particularly in a randy matchup like this one. They don't have sweepers, so maybe Winds of Abandon, but this game is not gonna make it to the point where Winds of Abandon matters. We have another Titan coming up. I think we're good here. As long as we don't do something stupid. I'm attacking here because it taps them out of um, it taps them out of field of ruin, which means I can second I can play a field and then second titan. We double the zombie production and we protect. Suva. <laughs> Your go. <laughs> And they didn't path me an end step, so I assume that they don't have another path unless they just not they just drew it here. Flicker wisp. Maybe wisp in the stone forge to get the sword. It's probably what makes the most sense. <laughs> Mold the Skyclaves. Huh. How many of it is for me to win this tournament? Hmm. Good question. It's 
Skid, Valaka, we don't need a bounce land. Though I guess having a bounce land is kind of nice here. I'm targeting the Wisp here, even though my opponent can protect it, because if they protect this, that means that they don't protect this. They are protecting the... Oh, let's see, I'll be soon. This game is over a million different ways at this point. Is this like my most medical list? <laughs> you, you think I would be playing a, a not updated amulet list? Why would I be playing an unupdated amulet list? <laughs> um, no, this is actually fine. This is the coolest Somnath deck ever. I, I, I knew that people would appreciate the meme. I knew that people would appreciate the meme. Thank you, chat, for not disappointing me. I know opponent is also playing the third deck, but I feel insulted that you put us in the same category. What do you mean? <clears throat> What do you mean by putting the same category? People people who are not watching the, the stream, like I, I posted on Twitter. <laughs> I posted on Twitter and people did not get the meme. <laughs> also the, the list I posted is it's so bad. <laughs> I just grabbed the first one I copied and pasted just to to make the meme. Well this is a high upside, very high downside hand, and I'm a coward, so I'm gonna ship it. This is better. We are on the draw, but like I'm, I'm gonna keep this anyway. Probably bought on the field of the dead. <laughs> Oddly enough, Thalia would be pretty good here. Not often the case. Not a great draw.
Hopefully they don't have a ghost quarter. If they have a ghost quarter, I'm pretty fucked. But if they don't, we're in this. They didn't have a land last turn, so they would need to exactly top deck the GQ right now. Wow, not playing around Force of Eager. Imagine if I had had the Force there. Boom, boom. <laughs> oh, I should update the stream decker. That's a good point. That is a good point. I told you I'm I'm just too asleep right now. They're cycling, looking for a wisp. Did they find it? They did find it. They found the wisp. Aaron with the sub. Thank you so much, Aaron. Welcome back once more to the Prime Time Stronghold. There was an argument for playing EE on one, but I think that playing it on two is going to be too important. <laughs> Am I not going to have enough time? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm not just not going to have enough time. Yep. Not going to have enough time. Oh, come on, you have another Wisp? No, okay, yeah. So without the Wisp, uh, we actually had a shot because we would have been able to like pay for the Arbiter, then uh, Pact for Dryad and use the Misty to... Use the Misty to... Uh... To fetch on the end step, we would have been able to kill two things. So we would have killed probably... I guess we had to kill the giver. And I guess we just would have died to the mall anyway, so never mind. All right, we got caught. Feels bad. All right, folks, see you see for round number two. Not the best start, but it is what it is. All right, folks, welcome to round number two. Of today's smaller showcase challenge. We started off with the loss. But we'll see. Mm. Oh no, we have that bug where I can't move my cars around. Oh, this is going to tilt me so much. I do enjoy moving my cars around a lot. No. No. Building a brand, you'll inherit it someday after you, much older brother. <laughs> Is it wrong? 
That's true. Ooh, we're playing against the prowess version. Show me that thoughties. Show me that thoughties. Take that. I'm not going to play around like a K command or anything like that. member that's perfectly fine fifteen dollars so you can get fifteen dollars as well we just want to apparently fifteen dollars that way you get more money and I pay less sounds like a good deal if you ask me <clears throat> sounds like an overall great deal I'll block So they are playing Shadow, but they're just playing Soulscar Mages. I can Titan and Haste here, but if I do that, I'm opening myself up to get in... I'm opening myself up to get in... TBR. And it kind of feels like as long as I don't just like stupidly run into something like that, I should be fine. Field. Just get Celestia Sanctuary. We don't have double blue, so we definitely have to note that. I guess I could have gotten Crumbling Vestige, which would have allowed me to transmute, but then I'm playing into... But then I would be playing into fucking... Thoughtseize. Lurus in hand. <clears throat> If opponent has this member, I double strike. 
They get a basic mountain. Five. That's bad for me. So I guess I, I, I think I just want to attack with the prime time. And leave as many bodies back to block as I can. I could have packed it for Dryad, I'm well aware of that. But then, like, same problem, like, they dismember the Dryad, we are in tough shape. Oh, like, it's not that we are in rough shape, basically. I'm just trying to basically make it so my opponent has no outs. I'll take this exchange if you want. Played around it. Played around it. So their hand is Lurus plus two unknowns. Shadow. Shadow. Bug. E -E. <laughs> Wizards is already in front that they can target players instead of just yourself. Yeah. Honestly, like, their, their card design is just bad, right? I don't think we can keep this. I think we can keep this, though. Bottom this one. Get a bottom as soon as because we can turn to Karn regardless. Ooh, the ball got fixed. Sweet. <clears throat> so they have no Blood Moon, but they didn't shock. Which is very confusing. I'm gonna go in here. Obviously it's bad if they have lining bolt, but excuse me, what? Say what?
I wonder if they have K command. They do have K command. So next turn we worm. Womp womp. <laughs> All right, one and one, baby. Let's go. Blue. Why do they have blue in their shadow deck? I am very confused. I'm very confused, but I'm also one and one. See you for the next round. Hello, folks. Welcome to match number three. We're met with not a great hand and met with a kind of still very medium hand that I'm going to keep. Uh, yeah, this hand's not particularly great. Oh man, should have kept the gracer, I guess. Brings us closer to the binary showcase. You are a terrible influence. Might be unrelated to how long that match was. Turn to idle on here is very bad for me. Because I have to, I basically have no options. I just have to jam into it. Because like the only way that I lose is if I like spike a bounce land and my opponent taps out this turn. Back to rest inside, tighten them. <clears throat> the critics have been secured twice. Okay, bounce land off the top and we have a shot. Hopefully my opponent has some some dead Syrian blazes and shit in hand. I guess bounce land or um Oh we're just dead. Okay. Just get burned out. Bum bum bum. Yep, that sounds about right. It's funny how like, Eidolon is the most high variance card for burn in, in, in this matchup. Like sometimes it's just like, oh fuck, an Eidolon. I can't ever beat an Eidolon. And then sometimes it's just like, oh, <laughs> an Eidolon. <laughs> like it's never medium. It's never medium. It's either always a blowout or uh, the complete opposite. And I just like play through it extremely easily. This opener is looking pretty good though. Like this is a turn three Titan, if I find it, with the steerings in between. Prime time. That one's pretty good too. So, oh, I fucked up. Mm, I fucked up. It's fine. I guess I. I I actually value steering uh, before I lawn a lot, a little bit higher. I mean, that's a very slow path towards a Titan, but it's a path towards a Titan. Uh, that that sequencing mistake of not playing the field when I could, it's hopefully doesn't come back to bite me, but like we're one, one land behind now in terms of field. Block. Oh, one lander? Yeesh. 
Okay, so what the second amulet does is now with any anything that allows me to play an extra land, like a Gracer or anything like that, I am able to transmute for a Titan. Because I can play T-West and just get double value. Yeah. I always recommend my burn opponents to not bring in Path to Exile against me. I think it's kind of a trap. So now Explore is a good draw, Second Gracer is a good draw. Well, Dryad would, would already be a good draw. Same with Titan, obviously. Azusa is a good draw. Block. That one is also a good draw. My opponent showed me path. Um, even if they didn't show me path, I would still probably be doing the same thing. T West, the Migros Chamber. I think it would follow Hello Heflo. Um, is this a double Titan? This might just be a double Titan here. We're one minute short of double Titaning. Very sad. Go! I guess I should have gotten any other bounce land here because we were we were probably we were getting double blue off of the T West. So that was a slight mistake. It makes my opponent paths better. Gave up a little bit of equity there. That's probably not gonna matter. Yeah, not gonna matter. So we're going to tap my opponent out here by getting these two lands. Oh, did I just fuck up again? What's what's going on with me today? I don't have double green now. My opponent just cooped it in anyway, but I was going to play a second Titan, but for I forgot that I played this on Beast. I, I, I need to wake up, man. I need to wake up. I'm fucking up too much. I'm fucking up too much. That was not a well played game. Because I was not going to go for Dryad, I was going to play another Titan. It plays around. I think I'm keeping this hand. We have turn one Gracer and we have the natural Radiant Fountain. We have an answer to, to an Eidolon. We can replay this fountain a couple of times, which is nice. I was gonna go for double titan because we could haste both because we had double amulet, but I forgot that I didn't that my cavern was on beast. I assumed that it was on giant. Do you have a link to have somebody leave it to coffee right to your home and a big enough tip splash it onto you because you'll wake up much more? Yeah, that's that's a good point. I mean, the opponent was more fortunate. I mean, that is the key to the mirror match, so... Just accept that you got outplayed, you say. <laughs> Excellent. I 
I think I'm gonna guarantee my gain too. If I draw it right, I'm just going to breeding pool, but it is what it is. <laughs> this is very good for me. That is very, very good for me. I could pack for Asusa. Back team for Asusa sounds very good here. My opponent gonna bolt again. I'm not blocking this. <laughs> mm -hmm. They knew about the Titan because we, re we revealed it to a Goblin Guide, so they just know that they, they don't have... Oh, we didn't reveal the Titan, actually. Okay, sweet. We win. Um, okay, that game was played a lot better than the previous one. <laughs> the previous one was an absolute mess. Uh, but yeah, you know, Radiant Fountain plus Bounce Lands plus Asusa doing it. Doing it in 2021 just like it's 2014 or something. See you for the next round. Two on one. All right, folks, welcome to round number, what is this, four? Taking a long time because we're finishing up this match here. My opponent probably tilting off a little bit because we beat them with our meme deck. They were they were asking me for a list. <laughs> okay, we got him. Meme deck continues to dominate. We could play around Fatal Push here. I don't think it's necessary. I guess that we can. Let's do it. A lot of ramping. There's an argument for holding on to this uh, Cavern of Souls, but I want to make sure that I can tighten if my opponent decays either my Asusa or my Amulet. Although I guess... No, that's fine. So this is just gonna get pushed, that's fine. So we're probably playing against bug control. And now we wait for the payoff, yeah. Hmm. Easy time. And we slam it faster than the sun here. 
No! Fuck. We got a two for one at least. Interesting that they didn't force my amulet. Thoughts is me, baby. Can we draw another Pact slash Titan? Can we do it? Coding. That one. It's dead. So they're probably going to get decay here. Down to zero cards. Let's see what they got. We're gonna minus for worm. Then we can minus another card for a ballista. Opponent just packs it in. Okay. So bug control. Winter lands. We can cut one of these. Cut one of these. And I was I've been thinking about just like cutting a radium fountain instead of cutting the gracer. But like you just saw how bad gracer is in that game, you know? But just to keep like a Let's do that. And this is something that, that I do with my cyber guys. I don't think anything is written in stone. And I will very often just like mess around with things. Like the cyber guy that I write today is like what I am trying today that is working, but that doesn't mean that I'm not trying some other random stuff as well. Interesting. Let's keep this. Not bad. Playing around Ashiok here a little bit. Would I rather that be an explorer, but I guess I'll take a gracer in this situation. No balance lands. They want to decay this, I think that's fine. 
It's not the key mana. It's probably worse. Pancho, tiempo sin ver el stream, ojalá te esté yendo bien. ¿Cómo andas, Seba? Todo bien, todo bien. Acá andamos. Ponen mailing themselves. Did you see that chat? They mailed themselves. Mail the neuro. Good job, OP. So this is going to be very bad, but we are in this situation. My opponent's just going to decay my dude, and it's going to suck, but... Or Gust might do, like, multiple things could happen here. Effectively time walking me. But we're unfortunately behind enough that I'm forced to do this. They're gonna get back their Udo here. Gonna attempt to play both things. May not work. Okay, that was solved, I guess. So I guess I'm gonna top here because by doing that, I'm forcing my opponent to minus the Ashiok on me, which brings it down to two, which means that now I can kill it just with the Dryad attack. I don't even need to double strike. Which means that I'm gonna have mana to cast my second titan if I can. Oh fuck! Damn it! Just naturally finding the field there is. Uh. Maybe I should have, I should have played my dryad to begin the turn. Losing to Ashia plus Aether Gust. Nothing new under the sun.
So I guess I have to go squatter here. And we just have to hope that somehow my opponent doesn't have anything. Fuck. Fuck. We go. I'm going to just cast this so maybe they'll fall off and show me more cards. But I, we, we can't win, obviously. Even if this Titan resolves, it just doesn't do anything. But like, yeah, we, we get some free info. Like for example, trophy is a big deal. Knowing that they have access to trophy means that I'm probably gonna have to to be careful what I do with my Karn and what I do with my um, what I do with my Karn and with my ah field of the dead. I definitely want to make sure that I can protect my field of the dead. And we now we saw reclamation, so I'm a, a little bit more excited about doing this and maybe even doing this. To blow up Ashiok. That might be a little bit too much. Let's actually do this. I don't want to overworld, particularly when I'm on the play, right? What's your opinion on the new Caltham Simic land, the one who copies the creature? Uh, it's not playable. That is the definition of a win more card. And usually you don't want win more cards in your deck. Not better than a basic forest. Yeah, it enters tapped, it taps for blue, which is a color that we don't care too much about. All sorts of wrong things with that land. It only does something when you already have an active Titan and you're already winning. They land a revised enchantment, not for Titan, but for Reclaimer, less Reclaimer. That's a good one. Uh, it's not... <laughs> It's not it's not Pioneer Legal though, right? It's MH1. Hall of Heliod's Generosity. Save me, Karn! Oh, there's a new one coming out. I guess we're gonna have to update the meme with... We're gonna have to update the meme with the new cards from Kaldheim, huh? <laughs> Definitely need some snow lands for the list, just because. I'd rather play with pretty lands instead. Look at these basics, they're gorgeous. And we also have the Strictly Correct Forest. Love it. All right, OP. Is there such thing as too much cantripping? I think so in this matchup. I guess this is better. Not by a lot, but... No lo había visto así, buena opinión. Sí, generalmente no querés, no querés eh, poner cartas en tu mazo que solo son buenas cuando ya estás ganando, ¿no? Porque cuando ya estás ganando eso es lo fácil. <ríe> si ya resolviste un titán, no necesitas un segundo titán para ganar. El primero ya va a ganar solito. 
we don't run Snowlands, how do we not fake out opponents 1 out of 12,000 matches? I mean, you fake them out because they misread your land. Strategic mulligan so we don't go to discard. Opponent kept seven, so I'm kind of feeling like we're not going to lose this. Uh, we're not going to win this one. This is a pretty bad matchup for us. Overall. That was a solid draw, though. I think we jam Karn. The alternative would be to play Dryad, but if my opponent taps and Ashiox me, that's bad, particularly if they manage to gas this. So we're forcing them to have exactly Remand or Mana Leak or Force. A growth Spiral, I guess. Feel the gross pile in my bones. Yeah, it was it was a pretty obvious one, huh? So this means that we don't have to worry for a while against uh, about Udo and nonsense like that. Fourth is not as good. We still have a Karn in play. We have a Dryad in play. That's annoying. We're down to four cards though. Uh oh. Oh, fourth. So we give them these two. We make them be in these three. Let's do this actually. Because this means that if we draw on top line, we get to resolve a Titan, right? Because they're going to put this in, in their hand. And since they put this in their hand, um, then they're not going to have a gust. So this gives me a, a one turn window to, fight, to play an uncounterable Titan. So I, I'm forcing my opponent to have exactly either gust in their hand.
But yeah, it feels like Foff and Gust need to be in the op in opposite lists. Yeah. Okay, so they don't have Gust. Sweet. If we play Amulet here... My opponent could have a Force. Force or Archmage's Charm. So I think that what I'm gonna do... So basically, do we want to play around exactly Decay or do we want to play around Force or Mana Leak or Archmage's Charm? One Charm is in the yard, so that's one Charm less, but I don't think that my opponent could have that many, for uh, that many Decays anyway. So I think I'm playing this. They just had a gust in hand. Well, fuck me, I guess. And I guess I have to be in the Tormod script here. Otherwise they get Bakudo. Main face off. Are there any good splits here? This is the good split, right? No, it's not. But I, I think that this is the good split. So two gusts are gone. My opponent needs to find exactly the last Aether Gust. Off the top. Exactly the last Aether Gust is my opponent's out. Nope, not that one. This one first. So they have a fall on top. Force of negation. One, two, this, and this. Do you have the last Aether Gust opponent? You don't, fuck yes. Bog, field of the dead. Plus on nothing. So now we are the one asking the questions.
this is the split, right? If they want removal, they don't have stuff, uh, they don't have lands. I think my opponent's gonna take this, which means that we don't have to worry about these removal spells, which is good. Still know about the Udo. Here comes Field. Foth really is the messed up magic card for sure. There's the field. Opponent will probably Udo here. Mystic Sanctuary, probably getting Foth again. Okay. Cryptic versus the rest. Okay, so that's cool. Bowsland is fine because it's a, it's something that my opponent can't interact with. Tuple creatures, draw a card. I think I want to kill their zombies because like whenever we lethal them, we're going to lethal them by a lot. So I just want to make sure that I don't randomly die to zombies. Yeah, we're picking up Bog for sure. And... Do we want to Karn for something? I guess not yet. So I'm just going to plus. Man, feels good to win that one. Holy shit. GG's opponent. Well played, well played. I think this opponent beat me the other day on in a league. Um, but we we actually got him when it mattered. But yeah, we're slowly kind of crawling back in there. We it kind of felt like putting that like playing lantern, right? It kind of felt like we're playing lantern. We're like, okay, so there's this lock. And there's this lock, this locks the Mystic Century loop, this takes care of this other thing, then we play this other thing, and now my opponent can't do that. So it was it was fun. It was fun. Um, very important the fact that they didn't draw as many gusts. But like my opponent resolved well, was it four 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 fofs? At least three four, uh, factor fictions were resolved, and we still managed to win that one. Whew, good stuff, good stuff. I think in big part it was because of the fact that we managed to resolve Karn on turn three, and my opponent didn't have the force, so like we basically said, okay, nice gust. <laughs> All right, sweet. And we'll be back for round number five. See you there.